Well, good Monday afternoon, everybody. The countdown is on now. Six shopping days left till Christmas. If you're thinking about getting out to the malls this afternoon, you got some pretty good weather out there. It is chilly in the low 40s right now, but the rain and snow has moved offshore and our barometer is rising, so drier weather is moving in. You can see that snow on radar here still affecting the state of Maine this afternoon and also parts of northern New England with some snow skirting off the Great Lakes. It's bouncing up around the Green Mountains, so Burlington seeing some decent snows this afternoon and you can see that as we zoom in here on radar that's going to go on now for the next few hours so keep that in mind if you're traveling off to the north but for the rest of us we'll start to dry out then we start to focus on the next system which is already making headlines and it's coming together you'll start to see it tomorrow as we have a strong system plowing into the pacific northwest we've had several of these but the last few have kind of stayed away from new england this one is going to match up with some energy here down towards texas they're going to team up and form quite a significant storm system be moving up the Appalachians. It'll be going west of our region, so it will not be a snowstorm for us, but still going to be some strong impacts nonetheless. It's what we call an inland runner, and it's going to be moving uh, up the Appalachian chain and towards uh, just west of our region, probably the center passing very late Friday night. But before then, we're going to have uh, some strong gusty winds here, winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour, and could have about two and a half inches of rainfall by Friday night. So as something you'll be hearing about the next few days, I realize it's still four days out, but the models have been very consistent with this the last few. So we do have a moderate level of confidence right now that this will be happening. So keep that in mind as we head towards the end of the week. But as far as tonight goes, we'll have the cold front moving through and temperatures are gonna be chilling back to the low twenties for Bridgewater. Winds will be picking up too. You'll notice that later on. So wind chills will be down into the single digits. Now tomorrow, We'll have sunshine, but we'll call it ineffective sunshine. The winds will be howling, especially in the morning. We'll barely get to right around freezing or so uh, in Bridgewater itself. We'll stay in the 20s as we go north and west. So heading out towards the bus stops, going to be extra layers, especially in the morning. Temperature it will be 25, but it'll feel like about 10 to 15 as we're in the bus stop in the morning. We'll slowly warm to around freezing by afternoon under some chilly skies. How about the rest of the week? Well, again, those chilly temperatures certainly on tomorrow. We'll start to rebound a bit on Wednesday as we keep that sunshine, but we lessen the winds. Thursday, the milder air starts to come up from that storm system. We get into the mid 40s. And then by Friday, under some very strong southerly winds, look at that, we spike all the way to the mid 50s. I wouldn't be surprised if we make a run of 60 degrees here by Friday afternoon. And then near 50 on Saturday with some morning showers that will clear out. And a lot of folks are asking, is there any chance for a white Christmas? Uh, I don't really do long term, but I can tell you that a couple of models are hinting at the shot of maybe some uh, white snow here on Christmas Eve. So uh, that's your best bet. And we'll talk about that as we get later on in the week. For now, I'm Jeff Fowler. Enjoy your day.